Hello, my name is Claudia. I'm based in Sydney, Australia. A little bit about my background. I studied at the University of Technology, Sydney, commonly known here as UTS. And since that time, I've been working in practice at a few firms, large, medium, and currently I'm at a firm or a B Corp company. There's 180 people in Melbourne and there's 10 of us up in Sydney. Uh, we're multi-sector, range of scales, um, and every day is always an interesting um, but exciting challenge. I like to participate in architecture competitions because I do love to ask the question of what would I do differently. Um, I love that there is a brief and your role is to respond to that brief and challenge it and see what you can come up with and I think that process of developing ideas is really fun um, and challenging and trying to understand where your stance on things is and then visually as well trying to communicate that clearly um, as well is quite interesting so testing all these skills that you may have um, outside of you know the local context is always quite interesting for me uh, the meaning in architecture is derived from its purpose which i believe is to serve the needs of the end user um, whether it be for instance protection in the event of a storm, um, you know, a place to stay when you're far away from home. Um, I do think that over time with the advancement of human civilization and technologies, so too has architecture developed and advanced. And I think it's really interesting that um, it then has become this sort of um, physical and visual relic um, where we can sort of see where humanity was at at all these different points in time and so I think that's when the role of the architect also starts to become one of an advocate for and a sort of temporary custodian of these this rich cultural history um, and so you know we see um, this dialogue in our present work where um, you know we're talking to architecture of the past but with technology we start to bring about the future of architecture so there's always a state of progression and it's quite interesting and quite beautiful.